Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for a, another video, another intuitive spiritual download. If this is your first time coming across my channel, welcome. Come on in. This is such a good time for us to be meeting by way of retrograde energy. That means that nine times out of 10, you're on the right timeline. There's a really high probability that you and I have something to do, and it could very well just have something to do here with spiritual court. What is spiritual court? Okay, you know, in a really brief description, spiritual court is where we keep it a buck. Sometimes we gotta call down judgment on different timelines, lifelines, lifetimes, and a whole bunch of other stuff in between. Whatever that means to you, I hope that you come in understanding one, who you are. Two, I hope you got a good intuition. Three, I pray that you brought discernment also to adhere to your intuition because that's just two things that really go together really well, in my opinion. However, at the end of the day, top of the morning, middle of the day, middle of the night, wherever you are on this planet, you absolutely do have free will. That's the beauty about life. This is just my recommendation is for you to take what resonates and leave the rest. And, you know, maybe you will like, love, share, comment, and or subscribe, you know, to Good High Vibes. I hope you do that no matter what. If you're returning back to the channel, then you already know that you are my beautiful, amazing, high vibrational, very uh, beautifully, divinely intentional soul tribe family. I meant that in that order. I love you so much, y'all. I'm just high off of life right now. Life is really, really good. Um, I've been outside sun gazing, y'all. I don't know how much more of a tan I can get, but baby, <laughs> me and the sun are having a lot of fun. Me and the sun got a thing going on, baby. We really do. So I've been sun gazing. Every time I'm sun gazing, I just come back in and I feel charged up. Okay, I hope y'all are feeling the same way. Sun gazing, stargazing, cosmically, literally, figuratively. We are just in between a whole bunch of realms with amnesty, I just heard. A whole bunch of amnesty. Okay, come on in. If you're returning back, you are my soul tribe. I love you. Nine times out of 10, you're my soul tribe. Very rarely do I get like karmic ass people that come back to try to do things. If there's some karmics in spiritual court, hi karmics, how's this retrograde treating you and how are you treating this retrograde? Are you learning those little punk ass lessons? Aren't we all? Nobody's exempt. I love y'all. Listen, so try. this on their surround sound shout out to the little baby earth angel babies that are in the womb that can hear the soul tribe song i hope the soul tribe song is one of your first favorite songs it's got a lot of love in it it comes from my heart it comes from my divine soul and i love y'all come on in Ooh, it was 10 22 on the clock it is now 10 23 1 2 3 divine order baby okay I call upon the beautiful Ascended Masters. I've been kicking it with them all day. So to say I'm calling them, it's just kind of like my way of, of, you know, reintroducing us here in spiritual court. They've been talking to me all day, y'all. Whew, I've been having some conversations in the ethers. I'm so grateful for divine intervention, for divine downloads, for getting messages that I need to bring back to the beautiful divine collective on a cosmic conscious level. What? Let's get into it. Holy Spirit. The truth and clarity is like, it's apparent, it's obvious, it's something that has to be. 
period. Okay, so to ask for truth and clarity is like saying we're asking for something that we already have. Okay, so let's do it. I mean, just because we're used to saying, um, excuse me, universe, can we have truth and clarity? The universe is like, okay, why are you asking me for something you already have? So something could be, you know, just a little bit more clear. Okay, yeah, don't denounce your truth and clarity. It's like running from yourself. A lot of people are not liking the tables turning. Somebody is like really, really on this uh, hope and a prayer on a whim. Okay, somebody could be going through something financial. Uh, the somebodies are people that you've left out in the cold for healthy reasons. This is a healthy choice, okay? Leaving people out in the cold because they just were not conducive to your mental health. Uh, no is a permanent answer and a total like statement is what I'm getting. I'm getting it to hell to the no. Shout out to the people that are reading the cards backwards, always coming around begging. So somebody's gonna be reaching out to you with the clock at the top. It's only a matter of time. I feel like somebody's got to swallow their ego, okay? Uh, this could have been somebody that, you know, maybe wasn't there for you when you needed them. If you were going through something, we've all been there, you know, where we've had to learn lessons about money, resources, okay? I feel like this is somebody that uh, feels like you owe them something, but they were never willing to give you something. I just heard you never got what you needed. You never got what you deserved. Not equal take, equal give and take. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, humiliation in front, of, in front of others. I felt this. It's an ego death. Humiliation in front of others, okay? So the fact that somebody's down on their luck, maybe they don't have any money right now, maybe you're doing good, maybe you got a little bit in your savings account uh, by way of your universal piggy bank, uh, literally, figuratively, maybe the universe is just being really good to you. I feel like the tables have turned. Somebody feels humiliated in front of others. Uh, they're begging, they're robbing Peter to pay Paul. This person could be in debt and they feel like they, like their ego, I'm getting ego, okay? Somebody wants to ask you for help, but something about what they did, yeah, mm -mm. it's a hell to the gnaw. Somebody's got to learn a really hard karmic ass lesson. Please hold the line for just a moment. I have to get this card back down. Oh my goodness, thank you. Yeah, um going the wrong way okay so this person it's got a lot going on okay they could have gotten other people to come up against you a lot of gossip a lot of slanders what i just heard big ego energy big ego death necessary vital but money theft so this person was stingy okay my money is my money and your money is my money type of an energy somebody went the wrong way okay it's obvious it's apparent this is somebody that could have taken something from you or refused to give you something at a time that you really needed it. And so this is a big humiliation, humbling moment for somebody because they're hiding the fact that they really need your help. Look at the moon and you got the ace of cups here. So divine intervention. I feel like this person's blocked from coming near you, towards you. Clarify who is this person, always coming around begging. Somebody wants you to give to them. I feel like they're in the five of pentacles, five of wands, five of swords. Uh, whoever this person is, they really did you an injustice, I just heard. Yeah, it's a hell to the no. Ace of pentacles in the reverse. This person could be losing money or they've lost a lot of money or they've lost their stability. Spirit is telling you no, not to give to this person. Also with the ace of pentacles in the reverse, it's a no. Uh, be this, you know, money, time, energy. Somebody stole from you, okay? Somebody stole from you and somebody has the audacity to uh, think that they can come back asking you for something. I just heard debts unpaid, so they could owe a lot of people. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. The Hierophant energy is usually high vibrational, you know, somebody that is going within, setting boundaries, Okay, understanding your higher self. Somebody's in their higher self. Clarify the higher font. And somebody absolutely is not with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, yeah, you're in this self-love energy. King of Cups energy is like self-love, loving on self. So for you, that Ace of Pentacles is in the upright. For this person, who is this person? Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? Who is this person? Money, theft, always coming around begging. Yeah, a lot of cards in the reverse. Six of Cups in the reverse is nostalgia. 
thinking about how maybe when they had it like that, okay, and you needed them, somebody wanted you to beg, borrow, plead, uh, kiss their ass, if you will, and it was never a hell to the no. I mean, it was always a hell to the no, but it's never a never a, a ending story by way of them not being able to come back into your energy is what I was going to say. Wrong way. Somebody needs to figure it out. Somebody's under severe karma. And they're watching you win, okay? They can just feel it. You got a new beginning with the Ace of Wands. That Ace of Pentacles is really you in the upright. So inspiration, something about you being inspired. King of Cups is self-love, emotional intelligence. Not somebody that you can come along and emotionally manipulate. 1029 on the clock. Somebody's birthday could be October 29th. Okay, I don't know why I saw that, why I feel that. Six of Cups in the reverse is Scorpionic energy. Somebody's going through a very harsh ego death. Big time. Somebody stole money. Now they're being humiliated in front, in front of others because the same uh, bridges that they burned, I just heard, are the ones that they want to rebuild. Damn. This is why you always got to be careful with how you treat people. Never say never. I can honestly say that uh, I did my best not to burn any bridges. And anybody that I left behind, you know, I tried to do it in a way that I understood. You know, because I, I believe in karma. So I tried to leave in a way that, you know, my hands are clean. You know, because I don't do nightmares. I don't do flashbacks. I don't do regret, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Does that mean I've been perfect? No, but 99.9% .9 of the time, y'all, yeah, I believe in karma. I don't play around like that. I remember when I left a guy one time, y'all, just a real quick little story. I broke up with him and I knew that was it because he was just, he was affecting my peace. You know, like there was no peace in him and my peace is everything. So I left him with all his things. He had a whole bunch of money and cars and I'm gonna let you drive my car, but his ego, I didn't like his ego. So I left him there with all his cars and everything. Child left him with a home cooked meal. I think every guy I've ever left, I left him with the home cooked meal. I feel like a guy has got to eat, especially when I know this is our last encounter and things are complete. <laughs> okay, so yeah, shout out to anybody. I mean, they could be watching. They'll tell you, hey, listen, I'll bake the hell out of a chicken. I do some special things with my chicken. It's not, the, it's not, the, it's not your normal chicken, honey. And mashed potatoes, child, with some asparagus or any type of greenery, child will leave somebody with a full meal, clean clothes, fold it, house clean, and be like, all right, this is our, this is it. I know when it's it. Okay. Nevertheless, just a random little story about moi. For those of you that needed that, maybe that made you laugh, maybe that made you cry. Whatever it is, I hope you got something out of it. Shout out to the people that can't do anything with it. Yeah, you're over this. Whatever this is, you're not crying over spilled milk anymore. Five of Cups in the reverse. This could have been you in the past, okay? Maybe you were the Five of Cups in the upright. Maybe you regretted the fact that, you know, something just didn't work out. But the Five of Cups in the reverse is you getting over grief and moving forward. Ace of Wands, you got a new beginning, okay? We got the moon card at the bottom of the deck. Show me this person. Why do we need to know this? What is, what's going on? Yeah, you're manifesting something else. Whoever you are, King of Cups energy. Anybody can be the King of Cups. Fire sign, water sign, earth sign, air sign. Listen, you know once you reach a certain level of self-mastery that you absolutely can be all the major arcanas, all the minors, all the everything. You're like, it's okay. You know, you, you've done enough, right? You're king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Somebody knows that you've got it going on or you got something good coming in. Yeah, you got divine intervention. You're manifesting something very beautiful. Ace of Cups is about a new beginning, new fresh start, new you, new self, um, really getting comfortable in your new avatar. You know what I mean? Just new spirit, uh, new wine, you know, new wine skin. The magician is alchemy, you know, alchemizing your circumstances, whatever you've gone through to set point. You've alchemized it. One thing you've done is alchemized and or eclipsed this person out of your energy and they know it. Clarify this person. Ego death is what I just heard. Yeah, you know, this is, this is a lot, okay? They could be having dreams about you with the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups and the Six of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's having dreams 
of like something that's not their reality okay they could be dreaming about y'all being together somebody could just be a little delusional uh somebody could also be overindulging that's a lot of cups all right they could be remembering the last time they were around you maybe this person just was creating a lot of conflict with the five of wands i just heard beating you to the punch silent competition i don't feel like this competition is silent though i feel like it's very amplified Big ego energy. Yeah, somebody's angry. They could be driving fast, road rage. Okay, somebody stole some money from me, though. This is the kind of person that, you know, just figured, uh, you know, for whatever reason, they never had to own up to what it was that they did to me. Clarify always coming around begging, humiliation. Always coming around begging, humiliation. Who is this person? What is it that we need to see and or confirm? By way of truth and clarity. Yeah. No, y'all. Whoever this is. Um, it's a it's a hell to the no. Queen of Cups in the reverse is somebody who's emotionally manipulative. This wanted to come up in the reverse, so I'm going to just be obedient and let that happen. Um Three of Wands is Aries energy. Queen of Cups is Scorpio Pisces Cancer energetically somebody is just trying to figure out how to come back towards you and i feel like you're so awakened in this king of cups energy divine intervention somebody's so tapped in to the higher realms like you gotta get up pretty early in the cosmos to try to pull something over this person's eyes and even if you try by way of sending you some type of illusions which could be projections that shit is going to get alchemized instantly. Like, what is that? Like, get that bitch ass, you know, what is that? Get that out of here. Needless to say, humiliation in front of others, money theft, going the wrong way. Somebody took a wrong turn, child. Yeah, the Ten of Wands in the reverse represents this person doing it all by themselves. They have no support system, okay? So whoever these people were, I feel like somebody put these people, whoever these people or those people are, and or were, I feel like they put them before you, before somebody who was really loyal. Okay, let me just make sure all my cards are in the upright because that's a lot of upside down cards, child. Like, you know, I like to be fair. It's gonna be somebody in the comments. Oh, look at Neff. Oh, she's doing none of that. Shut the hell up. I just always like to point those people out with love. You know, I say that from my honest heart chakra, throat chakra energy. I love you. But hell to the no with your energy. So needless to say, uh, yeah, listen, can we just have a commercial break? Child, somebody ain't doing so good, okay? Here's what's going on. It's given what the hell did I do? The bridge I thought I'd never need to cross is now the one that I need to try and rebuild. But somebody don't have the resources to rebuild that bitch. They ain't got a hammer. They ain't got no nails. They ain't got a damn thing, okay? What they have is a problem and some burdens by way of karma on their hands, okay? Is what I just heard. Queen of Cups in the reverse, somebody was nasty. This could be somebody's mama, okay? Or just somebody who was emotionally manipulative. Take things as they resonate. You are insightful, my beautiful divine collective. You know you can't intuitively pick up on what you need to. And it's okay to still watch collective readings. You know, you got some people's like, oh, watch collective readings. Shut the hell up. This is the way that we commune. This is the way we get together for shits and giggles and entertainment purposes because we already know that we know. You pulling the same damn cards, Collective. Now, come on now. We just come to get together, sing a little bit, you know, you know, dance a little bit. Listen, clarify money and theft. Somebody sneaky as a bag of shits. Sneaky as a bag of shits. Sneaky as a bag of shits. But he's sneaky. Seven of Swords is sneaky, deceptive. Even in all of this grave humiliation, poverty, whatever they're going through, lost a job, lost some money, whatever the hell this is, somebody is still drumming up enough low vibrational energy to attempt to be sneaky. So this person has an ulterior motive, okay? They're not coming in hands, hands free hands clean, like, hey, you know, I'm sorry. You know, we, you know, we're forgiving, we're loving, we're kind. Listen, my friend, listen, I forgive you, but you have to stay way over there. It's a paradigm shift. You cannot get on this timeline 
You know, I wish there was something I could do, but I can't, you know, that time has surpassed and this is finished. So the fact that somebody is drumming up the energy to plan, plot, and scheme again with nobody to be on the receiving end of their lies is really interesting energy. I feel like somebody needs to find a mirror. The Holy Spirit, what's going on? Yeah, this is this person's energy. Yeah, child. Somebody is crazy. Not a sword's energy. Somebody is, uh, you know, they're still giving you some type of little evil eye, you know, like how dare you? How dare you just go along and manifest this brand new beginning? Clarify the Hierophant, King of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah, somebody's really in their head. And you got all this mercy and grace. Look at this temperance. This is universal balance, universal grace. Uh, a lot of spiritual protection. Somebody is terrified at how spiritually protected you are. You got a whole bunch of angels around you, nine of swords. Um, you're sleeping like a baby. And even if you're not sleeping in the night, you're up doing something productive. If you're up like me in the night, shall I be up dancing, singing? <laughs> Definitely not looking like this, child. Okay, but listen, nine of swords, seven of swords. Somebody is deceptive. Mercury retrograde is dragging this person's life, turning it upside down, topsy-turvy, uh, wishy-washy energy, okay? And they're being humiliated. They could be in conflict with other people. Clarify humiliation. Yeah, they're getting bad news, man. Page of Wands uh, in the reverse is just bad news. Lack of direction. Lack of like, you know foresight somebody does not have a vision and you know what the parable says for lack of vision people perish so somebody could just feel like what is life doing for them right now somebody's really down in the dumps i feel like whoever this person was they were riding high somebody was on their high horse they could have had a lot of money ace of pentacles in the reverse is like somebody that had a lot and lost it all mm, hanging out with the wrong people i just heard yeah the star aquarius energy Somebody's getting bad news or somebody is, what is going on? I clarify, page of wands and the star. Why is that there? Why is that there? They're getting information. Queen of swords energy. Somebody's very insightful, very smart, very intelligent. Somebody is listening to or was listening to the wrong people. I feel like this person has nobody with the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Whatever they're going through, financially, mentally, physically, they're doing it by themselves. I feel like the universe is doing this uh, intentionally. Somebody was very destructive. Had they not had to go through all of what this is, somebody could have really just been uh, an asshole. You know? Let's have a toast for the assholes. Let's have a toast to the douchebags. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's giving, right? The star and the queen of swords. Clarify the star and the queen of swords. Page of wands and the star and the queen of swords. Somebody's in the public eye or somebody's watching somebody get some type of something for the fruits of their labor. But somebody's ass is going to jail. What the hell is going on? Somebody's getting bad news. Somebody could be watching tarot. Queen of Swords is giving me insightful energy, like psychic energy. Uh, somebody could be getting confirmation by way of tarot. Okay. Yeah, they could be getting information by way of tarot. Whatever this is, Eight of Swords, somebody could be getting caught up for some type of money or theft. Okay, they could be watching uh, Zodiac readings or whatever this is. And it's like everybody's giving them the same, the same uh, answer. But Knight of Pentacles is like the fruits of somebody's labor. Okay, somebody clarified Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Libra and Energy. Somebody could have been trying to confuse somebody about some money. I just heard monetization, Page of Wands in the reverse. Somebody's getting bad news about something that could land them in jail. Either way, they're going through spiritual hell. 
This is like 20 years, you know, with this Pluto energy. I think the moon is in Virgo. Is that right? Or Taurus. It's one or the other. I, you know, I'm going to be honest. Can we just have a commercial break? Once you get to a certain level. <laughs> When you realize that Mercury retrograding wherever it's at, it's, you know, it's not that big of a deal. 1044 on the clock, okay? By way of you uh, being nervous about it, right? It's, just, it's, you know, it's spin the block energy. If you're doing the right thing, you're like, cool, retrograde, what's good? Oh, we got to take a test. Let's see if I'm over this. Let's see if I really forgive her, blah, blah, blah. Like, you just don't freak out. I'm going to be honest, y'all. And, I, I you, know, you know, we don't like to fluff our feathers. We don't like to puff our chests up. But you should absolutely strive to get to a level where it's like whether it's a full moon or not, whether these karmics are doing anything or whatever the hell they got to do to try to, you know, oh, they're doing a death spell. Like, hey, it's fine. Yeah, let them. Maybe that's where they need to be because whatever it is, it's teaching them something about themselves, okay? At this level, Hierophant, Magician, Temperance, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, King of Cups, listen. Well, listen to me. Star energy. It ain't nothing that could touch us. Rub us the wrong way. Again, we are literally in spiritual court for, for shits, and, shits and giggles. Okay? Commercial break. So tribe, we're here for shits and giggles. Listen, we're here for shits and giggles, okay? I just had to get that out. I had to build that out just to clear the energy, like in a real way, like, okay, all right. And 10 of Pentacles, I mean, whatever this investment was or was lost, somebody anticipated that you would be down on your luck, that you would never recover. This is why somebody was a huge douchebag, a big asshole, a crazy ass son of a bitch. And I'm just gonna be honest, it's giving me son of a bitch Death of the ego. Somebody's crying, oh, my things. Okay, you lost all your stuff. Well, it's time for you to learn that lesson. But somebody never anticipated that they would need to come asking you for money or begging you for money. And they're trying to think of a way of how to come back in. And they stole something from you. So the past keeps playing over and over in this person's mind. They, they're the ones that can't get past what they did to you. I feel like you're over it. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's very abundant. Two of Swords, uh, they're still coming in in this, you know, riding the fence energy. Like, I want to tell you the truth, but, the, you know, not the whole truth. You know what I mean? So help me, most high God. Like, somebody wants to give you a half truth with the hopes that they can be sneaky again. Like, to keep you in some type of karmic cycle. You see it coming a mile away. Who is this Queen of Swords, though? Who is this Queen of Swords? Aquarius energy. Queen of Swords. I feel like this could be you. Yeah, this is you. This is us. Somebody's in their head about your abundance. The star. Yeah, I'm getting page of wands, bad news, public eye. Somebody's getting something by way of being in the public eye. Virgo energy, Taurus energy. Uh, you're single as a Pringle. Okay, you're abundant. You are magnificent. You are independent. You're incredible. You're standing in your beautiful energy so effortlessly. Uh, it, it, you know, this energy comes in just as easy as the breath that you just drew. Okay. That was a little over the top. It was very dramatic. However, this is exactly how I feel. Like this is what it is. And so somebody is really in their head about it. Clarify the eight of swords and the knight of pentacles. Yeah. Somebody is really in their head about it. They're about to go to jail for something. Somebody's about to get caught up for trying to take something from you. Page of Wands, they're getting bad news about it, okay? Clarify the Page of Wands in the reverse. Why is that bad news there? Why do we need to know this for shits and giggles, entertainment purposes, truth and clarification? Listen, they're trying to figure out how you're getting some type of information, how you know something. Toil and labor, this is about something that you do. Somebody could be in the public eye. This could be about monetization. I know there was something with people trying to hack and steal from people. These people could be going to jail. 
Yeah, they could be going to jail. Something about the fruits of your labor. So if you have a platform and your numbers have been a little wonky, you know, they like to take $200 from you here and $200. And I know I've heard really horrific stories, unfortunately, about people uh, getting money, you know, messed with. I feel like somebody behind the scenes is uh, responsible. Could be somebody on another platform. Wherever this person is, they could be leaving their platform or they're connected to somebody. Yeah, somebody's about to go to jail. The tower. It's a hacker. So we got a couple of storylines here, okay? One, you got somebody from the past that desperately needs your help. Two, there's a mother figure that's very, very much in distress or a father figure or just a queen of cups who was very nasty to you. Some, somebody got this out the mud. Whatever you did, you got it out the mud. Nobody helped you is what I'm hearing. These people feel stupid because whatever you do for work, they can't be a part of it and they know it. Whoever these people are, somebody was very sneaky and deceptive. Hell, it could have been family. But you're independent. Somebody also has to give you some money as well. Okay, and they're upset about that. But then you got somebody over here that's really down and out, down on their luck. They've lost everything. And they want to come ask you for something. They're really in their head about it. Somebody's getting caught up for money. So there's a couple of storylines here. Just go ahead and grab the one that belongs to you. And the one that does not. Oh, okay, well, you know. Yeah, just leave it for somebody else to take. It's a beautiful retrograde. I'm excited about it. Yeah, somebody lost everything. I can't make it up. Playing around with the wrong people, karmic energy, okay? Somebody had a lot and lost it all. Five of Pentacles, poverty. It could be losing a housing situation. Somebody's so desperate to, like, they're sitting up thinking, nine of swords in their head about how to come towards you and ask you for some money. Somebody else, this person could have also taken money, could have owed you some money. And didn't give your money back. Like if you loan them money, they didn't give it to you. I always say, don't loan out, don't loan out anything that you can't afford to live without. Because nine times out of ten, if somebody had to borrow money from you, just in my experience, then nine times out of ten, it's a hundred percent chance they're gonna struggle to pay you back. Why? Because by the time they get it, they're already gonna be overspent. So just give it, you know. At the same time, there should absolutely be boundaries set on money. That's just my recommendation based on what I've been through. But now, I don't know now no money. Nevertheless, uh, listen, okay, what's behind this card? Yeah, somebody wants to come in. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, this person's still in a night energy. They could be trying to come in and, you know, finagle their way back in with their wand and their flighty-ass friendship. Somebody's, somebody's very immature. They're learning a life lesson. And I feel like you know that, you're aware of it. And one thing that you will do because it's wise is get the hell out of the way so this person can get their karma. Somebody's got to learn their lesson. This is in divine order, okay? You got people that were coming up against you. Somebody's trying to move and they can't move with the three of wands and the reverse. Somebody's doing it solo, dolo. They don't know who to call. I feel like whoever they chose and uh, over you, family, friends, in front of you, I just heard in front of you, so this person could have tried to humiliate you in front of people or talk about you. Now, I feel like they're, they're on the other end of the laughing stick. <laughs> I just got to laugh. I mean, not that it's, I mean, you know, nobody wants to see somebody go through this, but we refuse to curb our enthusiasm. Listen, Divine Collective, you're the higher font. King of Cups, you love knowing yourself. Self-love, okay? You could be, you know. You could be really just having a good time right now. You've learned some beautiful lessons. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Temperance, Balance, Patience, Queen of Swords in the upright. You're the real Queen of Swords, but you got somebody that thought they were smarter than you. Something about you being on a platform with the star and getting public eye. This could also be um, performance. Like somebody could perform, perform on a stage or something like that. Okay, Page of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, somebody didn't see something happening. Ooh, I just heard near-death experience. Can you clarify that? What the hell is going on? Ooh, child, I cannot. Okay. <sighs> Greed, ego, pompous energy, cocky, nasty. Uh, this is the kind of person that 
you know, they'll eat in front of your face literally and watch you starve. Very dark person, very mean spirited person. Queen of Cups in the reverse and the devil in the reverse and the King of Pentacles. It's almost like this is not being released from their issues. This is you letting go of this. You broke free from some type of demonic energy, controlling, cocky, uh, you know, very, very like uh, sadistic. You know, somebody likes to watch people suffer. They like to have more than other people. They mock people who don't have that much. Somebody's really crazy. Really nasty energy. Could be a label, you know, whore type of an energy. Oh, this is this is Thierry McClure. Or this is Louis Vuitton. Or this is, you know, Issey McHockey. La, 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 Dolce Gabbana. Like, this is that person. And now they ain't got a damn pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of a child. They to rob Peter to pay Paul so much they're in tits. The universe is turning this person on their ass. Like, this is, this is a God thing. This is divine intervention. Anybody going towards this person, I don't feel like anybody is with the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Whoever they thought were their friends, they're getting a, a shrewd, very, very swift wake-up call about who was in their corner. And somebody's thinking about how you were always nice to them. And now you're not around. Yeah, listen. The King of Pentacles in the reverse is somebody that's just greedy, stubborn, not wanting to change their ways. Big Capricorn energy, okay? I feel like the devil has been turned on top of their head. And you and this Ten of Pentacles, child. Lovers is here. Self-love. You know, the more I love on myself, the more I can love on you, the more love comes in is your energy. You're just really in a beautiful relationship, you and the divine. Okay? Big Capricorn energy. Clarify. Somebody could have Capricorn highly aspected in their chart. What is going on? Yeah, somebody's having to walk away. They feel defeated by your energy. Somebody feels defeated by your success. I feel like somebody got something going on and they like so tumultuous. Like, how are you going to find time to fight anybody? You better fight that rent or fight them demons or whatever the hell. Somebody was really like laugh in your face type of an energy, y'all. This is a mean person. Very mean. Righteous justice and or judgment is being served. Because somebody's watching you live out your life's desires, your ten of pentacles, eight of pentacles, whatever you do for work, eight, nine, ten. Somebody was very patient. Look at this, six. Only thing that's missing, missing is what, the seven of pentacles, okay? Investment, but I feel like it's there. Yeah, ten of cups, okay? For some of you, you got a new family, a new community, a new house, a new something, New spouse, okay, come through new spouse, okay. Listen, this is beautiful. The Hierophant also represents possibly high-level soulmate marriage, but absolutely somebody is spiritually in touch. Somebody's really high-ranked. Somebody really went through, like, everything. Because I feel like whatever this energy is, this is something that you went through. In order to get to this beautiful energy, you had to have gone through some cycles, some lessons, some hard ass lessons, man. Whoever this person is, they didn't think that they would have to rebuild this bridge. Somebody had wrote you off for dead, I just heard. Whatever you're doing for work in the public eye, somebody's watching. <laughs> Clarify the page of wands in the reverse. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good for whoever this is. Whatever they thought this was, it's a hell to the no. The six of wands in the reverse. Uh, Leo energy. Coincidentally, we're in the middle of Leo season. Shout out to all the high vibrational Leos. I love you, Leo. I got a lot of Leo in my chart. I think that's where the thespian energy comes from. The Sagittarius in my chart, the Leo in my chart. You know, I can absolutely be quite dramatic. I love that part about myself. I don't know if I could do life if I couldn't be dramatic. I, I don't know. Taking this shit too seriously? I, I can't. Even in my worst moments, you know, I, I try to laugh and cry and, and, and I've had some moments, y'all. I just think the most, I don't look like a damn thing about what I went through. But listen, something's coming through for this person and I feel like uh, it's only a matter of time with the tower and death, okay? This is like endings. Um, this could be permanent endings. This could be something about their stability though. Whatever their, whatever their uh, vice was v-i-c-e whatever their vice addiction was which it seems like it was very materialistic the universe is teaching them a really good lesson about charity and money 
Somebody is like a thief. I just heard a thief in the night. Yeah, somebody didn't want you to see their um, their plotting, their scheming, their yeah, their fraudulent behavior. And you got somebody else too that could have been trying to tap into somebody's monetization. Okay, just so you know. So protect your bank accounts and your. But I feel like they're gonna get caught. Whatever this is online with these hackers. Okay, it's like there's yeah. Clarify with the hackers. Yeah. These people are meditating, child, stuck and laid down. Somebody could be having a permanent ending. Four swords in the tower with the death? What the hell is going on? Somebody's trying to figure out their next move. Yeah, they're getting information. They're watching. They could be watching tarot. I feel like people are watching tarot, wherever these karmics are, to try to get some type of uh, understanding of what's to come. Well, I'll tell you what's to come. Here's the best way to figure it out. As above, so below. Whatever you put out is absolutely coming back to you. Page of Swords. Uh, somebody's gathering information and just watching people in the public eye. I feel like it's platforms. But there's theft here. Page of Swords. They're trying to get information. Somebody could be trying to do it again. Okay. I just heard your money's protected. Yeah, they're trying to do it again. They're trying to balance out something that they've already done. Two of Pentacles, big Capricorn energy. Something could be significant about Capricorn season. Somebody's birthday could be January 2nd. Somebody's birthday could be in December. Child, something's real significant before the end of the year. Okay. What's the outcome, Holy Spirit? I feel like you're moving forward. I know we are moving forward. I don't feel like it. I know it. I intuitively can feel that that's just what it is. Yeah, a lot of apologetic energy, a lot of immature energy, uh, a lot of needing to make things harmonious is what I feel like these people are doing. But it's like nobody's available to to accept these apologies. We're over it. Four of Cups in the reverse is like healing from something that could have kept you down. Maybe these are situationships that really hurt you. You're using this Mercury retrograde energy, honey, for the lion's gates. To purge out some shit, and this is giving, I have no more fucks to give type of an energy. I'm just going to keep it real, keep it above. Four Cups in the Reverse is like being aware that you're aware, but also letting something go. Yeah, you're letting something go, man. You absolutely are. Moving in a new direction with the fool. Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, here's the five of wands in the reverse. Whatever this battle is, whatever this was, that somebody is trying to, like, or was trying to make happen, child, life is 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 life in for their ass. <laughs> Not in a good way. Somebody got too much going on to be preoccupied about you. Somebody was very preoccupied with watching you uh, struggle or thinking that you were failing, that they failed to pay attention to the details of their life. It's like being obsessed with somebody so much so that you don't realize, hey, psst, your whole life's turning upside down, man, until, until it's too late. And then, bam, there's a tower. Somebody's losing everything. So somebody could be reaching out to you, okay? Something about the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles also represents family, spiritual gifts, okay? A lot of you are getting beautiful upgrades by way of the Lion's Gate. Congratulations, on your graduation to the next level. It's beautiful. I love it. I love y'all. And I celebrate you. I hope you celebrate me. We came together again so effortlessly and dancing in the ethers, ethrally, literally, figuratively, spiritually. Listen, I love it. Obsessively happy, you know, addicted to positivity. I love y'all so much. I really, really do. So I just heard whatever was stolen from you, stolen from we, stolen from I, I don't, you know, the answers have really been giving me messages in I, we, you, you, we, I, you meaning me, you meaning you, you meaning I, we meaning us. Whatever has been stolen from us is going to be returned to us in ways of abundance that we could not have even imagined. Because this is really honestly about, I just heard the virtues, K 
characters with virtues, a characteristic of virtue, a virtuous woman, virtuous man, somebody with virtue, somebody with morals, uh, energetically. Yeah, we did a lot of releasing, purging, y'all. Take full advantage. I love it. Okay. Um, I know Saturday was a little wonky because you had some people trying to do some witchcraft. So just a heads up. Uh, we're aware, if you're watching this karmics, that you tried to do death spells on Saturday. We're also aware that nine times out of ten, it instantly backfired. <laughs> Spirit said that somebody lit a candle over you or on you and it blew up. Child, bye. Somebody's whole house is about to be on fire. Hold on, my earpiece. I got to get my earpiece together. Yeah, I just heard somebody lit a candle on you, a shut up spell or something, child, and now they can't talk. Going to the doctor for strep throat. Girl, you know that ain't strep throat. You know that's because you did some witchcraft. So when you're filling out that form at the doctor and they ask you, you know, when was your last throat swab? Tell them, hey, I burned a black candle on a divine bean and the shit backfired. So they will know that antibiotics will not work on you. This is spiritual, boo. Get your punk ass about the doctor's office. Yeah, somebody is really, really, uh, you know, getting worse. You know, you would think that these cycles would really teach certain people a certain lesson. Some of them are just going down and down and down and like a blaze of hellfire glory. It's, you know, it's a beautiful show, but it's hard to watch. Beautiful in the sense that we've successfully closed out these cycles. Beautiful in the sense that we don't got to deal with that energy no more. Doesn't it feel good? Don't you feel light? Don't you feel happy? Don't you feel healthy? Don't you feel disconnected from the bullshit? I do. I freaking do, man. Listen, I, I'm telling y'all, I've been sun gazing, okay? So when I sun gaze, it does make me feel a little high. I feel great after sun gazing. You would think like, what are you drinking? Not a doggone thing. Some sun in my cup. Child, listen. I love y'all, though. Y'all like my tan? I looked at myself today. I was like, hey, girl. Okay, nevertheless, I love y'all, okay? I will absolutely see you in the next video. Until then, as always, I love you. Peace be with you.